So we've taught you slope intercept form. We've taught you standard form. Now we're going to teach you how to turn standard form into slope intercept form. All right, so which one? You have to know which one is which by just looking at it. All right, so this is slope intercept. How do you know? Y is on one side of the equal sign all by itself. Right, if I wrote negative 3x minus 6 equals y, that is still slope intercept form. But we all put y on the left. But this y is by itself, it's slope intercept. Then this has got y and x on the same side, right, of the equal sign. When you have x and y on the same side, you've got standard form. All right, so copy this equation, it said. All right, so what's the slope? The slope is negative 3. The y-intercept is 0, negative 6. That is also the same line over them B. And what you're going to learn today is I can take uh, B and subtract 3X from both sides. Not just, you're not going to divide it. You're going to get rid of that whole 3X. Because 3X minus 3X is what? Zero. And then you do it on the other side of the equal sign. And you look what you get. Now I'm going to write, right, we want that. So I'm going to write it in that order. So I'm going to write y equals negative 3x minus 6, or instead of minus 6, minus 3x. But these are the same, all right? And we're going to show you how to go back and forth between the two of them in the next two lessons. All right? So we're going to learn how to turn this into that. All right, so let's start easy, all right? The key to slope-intercept. It says convert from standard into slope intercept. So the key is to get y by itself. So we have to get rid of this entire 4x that's being added to it. So how do we get rid of something that's being added? We subtract. And we have to subtract this whole thing. 4x minus 4x is 0. No matter, right? If x is a million, it'd be 4 million minus 4 million. If x is 10, it's 40 minus 40. It will always equal 0. We can always cross that out. So that means then we have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. Now, that says y equals 7 minus 4x, which it does, which is correct. But remember, we're trying to make it look like y equals mx, so we want the mx thing first, right? So we want the negative 4x first, and that's positive 7. Remember, positives just become pluses, negatives just become minus, or in this case, minus just became negative. It's that easy. So you just write it in that order. And so now we know that started in standard form. Now it's in slope intercept. And now we know the slope, right? Over here, positive four was not the slope. The slope was negative four, okay? And that is key that you understand that that's the slope in front of X only when it's in slope intercept form. Okay, let's go. that's what we're doing today. All right, so this is going to start the same way. We have to get y by itself. Now, we have more than one thing to do this time. But you start them all the same way. There's 6x there. Get rid of all 6x. Then you have to go to the other side of the equal sign. That does say 12 minus 6x. But we still have 2y. And we're remembering we want the x part first. So we're going to write the negative 6x, and that's a positive 12. So we'll write it as plus 12. All right, but we're not done. Right? We still have to get rid of this 2 that's multiplying y. So what do you have to do? You have to divide by 2 both entire sides. Right, All year I've been saying do it to both the sides. And what that means is you have to do it to everything over here. Yes. You can't just divide one thing by 2. When we subtracted this 4x, we did it to both entire sides. Right, And when we divide by 2, we have to do it to the entire side, right? So this is y, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 12 divided by 2 is positive 6. That is the line in slope-intercept form. Those are the same line. They have the exact same graph, all right? So just as always, we're going to do our adding, subtracting first, our multiplying, dividing later. And the reason you always do that is to avoid fractions, truthfully. All right, so let's practice. We're going to get rid of this 2x, right? We're going to get 7y, remembering that we're going to y equals mx plus b. It says convert the equation from standard form into slope-intercept. So we want to go negative 2x plus 14. 
Then we have to divide both entire sides by 7. Everything over here has to get divided by 7. So it's y equals negative 2 sevenths x plus 2. Slope is negative 2 sevenths. Same thing here. So it's negative. Now, well, some people do not believe that standard form should have that there. We will talk more about that. But we were, because it's minus 6x, we're going to add 6x to both sides. 3y, and we're going to put the x first, 6x minus 12. We're going to divide both entire sides. Uh, let's use blue, like because I've been doing that. We're going to divide both entire sides by 3. That's the rule. So it's y equals 2x minus 4. These are the same line. Same thing here. There's that negative again. Since it's negative at 9x, we're going to add 9x. Because negative 9x plus 9x is 0 for any value of x. We're adding 9x to both sides. Minus 3y this time. So you have to write negatives. Minus becomes negatives. The positive 9x will go first. The positive 12 will go second. Then we're going to divide both entire sides by negative 3. Y equal, 9 divided by negative 3, negative 3x. 12 divided by negative 3, negative 4. You don't write plus negative 4, right? We don't write plus negative 4 would always be written as minus 4 in an answer. All right. Now, why do we do this? Right? Because right now in standard form, we don't know what the slope and y-intercept is. Zero, that's not y-intercept, that's not the slope, all right? We have to find them. Now, the fastest way to find the slope and y-intercept will be to convert it into slope-intercept form. So let's do that. So it's negative 3x, so we're going to add 3x. So we get negative 2y equals 3x minus 8. Divide both sides by negative 2. All right, so we have, right, we're not going to leave the negative sign in the denominator. It's y equals negative 3 halves x. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. So the y-intercept is 0, 4. The slope is negative 3 halves. And we know that because now it's in slope-intercept form. Y here is all by itself on one side of the equal sign. That's your goal. All right, same thing here. So we're going to... Add 5x to both sides. That's a negative 1y. I like to write that in equals 5x minus 12. Divide both sides by negative 1, both entire sides. y equals negative 5x, 5 divided by negative 1. Negative 12 divided by negative 1, positive 12. So what's the slope? The slope is negative 5. And the y-intercept is 0, 12. All right, so let's practice. All right, which one is in standard form? Hopefully you're doing that. That is standard. What's the other form called? Slope intercept. And these are the same line. And so notice, right, you can see the y-intercept is 7. We can't see that here. Yeah, there is a relationship. We'll go over this. That between that 3 and the 4, and then it's the opposite of 3 over 4. But instead of memorizing that, it's just easier to do what we learned today. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this 4x, right? We're 3y equals negative 4x plus 12. Divide both entire sides by 3. y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 4. It asks you what the slope is. The slope is negative 4 thirds. What's the y-intercept? 0, 4. Don't ever tell me it's 4. It's a ordered pair, 0, 4. All right, we're going to add 8x to both sides because it's negative. Negative 2y equals 8x minus 14. Divide both entire sides by negative 2. y equals negative 4. 8 divided by negative 2, negative 4. Negative 14 divided by negative 2, positive 7. Slope is negative 4. y-intercept is 0, 7. All right. Convert the equation to slope. Fine. All right. So we're subtracting 2x from both sides. Negative 5y equals negative 2x plus 30. Divide both entire sides by negative 5. Two negatives make a positive. So it's, it's negative 2 over negative 5 is positive 2 fifths. They, those cancel out. That's why this one is here. So the slope 
is two fifths, then the y-intercept is zero, negative six. Good luck with the homework.